This video is exactly what not to do, down to the smallest details. Please don't follow along with me or risk losing all your hair. Hello everybody, my name is Inchronic and welcome to another video. Today I have very limited time to film this. We're bleaching my roots, not my all of my hair, but my roots are quite dark and quite frankly I'm not having it. Okay, we're gonna jump right in. So I'm gonna fix my hair, one second. And there it is, all stacked up on top. It looks so great. Um, really I should do a high ponytail more often. Next step is going to be bleach. I use Ion. It has the cream developer, which I'm using 20 volume, not 20%. And then I'm also using the bright white cream lighter. And it's a one to one ratio. All right, let's see. Uh, okay, that filled the bottom a little. I think that's a one to one. I'm not totally sure, <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you. I'm sure I'll fuck this up so tremendously that Brad Mondo will uh, react to it because that's what he does these days. Also, do you like my my cup? Okay. Uh, yeah, that looks right. I'm really eyeballing these estimates. But when it feels like enough, it feels like enough. Bleach is prepped. So basically, I don't think I have the right comb for this. So I'll just take my pinky finger section out a little piece of hair. Oh my god, gloves. <laughs> I forgot I'm supposed to wear gloves. Okay, I have gloves. Um, <laughs> now I can begin, even though I've already got a strand going. I um, might burn off some hair, I hope not, but I might. I haven't bleached my hair in what feels like forever, so whether or not I'm doing this correctly, again, completely up for debate. I can't see. This is a really big piece. Why do I keep grabbing such big pieces? It's a good thing I have wigs in case I burn all my hair off. I don't know if this needs to be said because quite frankly all of my content is like this, but if you see me do something, it's probably best not to do it. I'm not like the ideal role model, I would say. This could be going horribly wrong. Uh, so, <laughs> I guess we'll find out, won't we? But without an extra pair of eyes, I just can't be sure. And I walk for graduation in two days, so there's time to fix it, but not like so much time. Did I get bleach in my eyes or something? Why do I like feel it in my eyeballs? <laughs> this is not a tutorial, by the way. It's cutting a lot because I'm not saying anything. I'm literally just recording the process of me bleaching my hair, the the absolute chaos that it is. Okay, I've reached the final before I go back and, um, you know, go over everything, make sure I didn't miss any spots. Stop. In case you are wondering what goes horribly wrong, allow me to explain. I forget to bleach this entire section and only notice it at the very end of my time. Please make sure you have a friend with you when you bleach to get the entirety of your head. Back to the video. I guess let's try and get this. You know, when I was little, my grandpa told me that I should be going to cosmetology school. And I told him no for various reasons. But after doing my hair for so, so long, you know, I've realized another reason. And that is because I would ruin so many people's hairs. So many. There's little crumbs of bleach everywhere. And I mean fucking everywhere. It looks like it snowed in here. It's like really warm. Okay. It's probably not great. I've just checked my hair. I didn't miss anything that I could see. Um, I'm going to be watching the front. Once the front is lightened enough, that's when I go in the shower. I'm watching it. I'm watching it. You aren't going to burn. Am I paranoid? I feel like I'm being very paranoid. Oh, my hair's gonna fall out. No, it's probably not. I'm probably gonna be fine. I could bleach my eyebrows while we're here. I'm not going to, but I very well could. And that, that entertains me. My hair isn't bleached enough. The timer is about to go off, but my hair is not bleached enough. So I'm gonna leave it on a little longer until I see this become normal. 
the plan is to keep going until I see all of this as light as it needs to be. So I use this every day. It's my Oplex number no. 5 conditioner that I have in a big bottle because I use it all the time. We have Oplex number no. 8 which, oh man, can you even see anything I'm talking about? Which is the, the hair mask that I use in the shower. And finally, this I, I literally only use when I bleach my hair. It is Olplex number no. three. And it's like another hair mask, but not really. Let's just say it's gonna be a very long shower today. Uh-oh. I'm sure I missed so much. I'm, I'm truly sure I did. Well, I can certainly say that the bottom of my hair is done and lightened. I thought I wasn't going to leave it on that long, but I'm getting very close to the time I have to take a shower. And let me say, I keep finding new spots that I have not yet bleached. That is interesting. <laughs> Alright, I think things are about as light as they're gonna get. So I'm gonna hop in the shower. I will see you after. Oh, shit! So, what just happened? Why is this this? I'm sure you're all asking. I sure as hell am. Allow me to explain. When I got out of the shower, I checked my hair, and what I found was a lot of spots I missed. Pro the entirety of right here was still roots. <laughs> so I missed all of it. And then also right here was super bright and right here was practically white. So I messed up all of it. I went to a hairdresser who was able to fit me in at the last second. They said that they were gonna move all of their appointments so that I could get this done because my graduation is Thursday. I got this done Tuesday. Well, yesterday I got out at 9.30 p.m. They were already closed for half an hour. And what did my hair look like? So what happened? What happened? If Brad Mundo sees this, he might be able to explain this better. But basically, she left toner on my hair for too long. And it darkened a lot. So, now I have brown hair. <laughs> but it's okay because I'm going back in like 10 minutes to go get it lightened again. So if you did like the brown hair, I'm sorry. It's not sticking around. Maybe one day I'll get my hair actually brown. You know, a nice dark brown. I need this fixed. I graduate tomorrow. I cannot be showing up with lukewarm brown hair. So that's my story. Um, I'm gonna go get this fixed. I guess if it doesn't get fixed completely, you'll see in about five seconds. Anyway, let's go to the actual end now. Are you ready guys? Fingers crossed. <laughs> oh, wow. Let's, uh, let's be perfectly clear. This was not what I wanted, <laughs> like at all at the start of this video. So in the time span of two days, I have had three bleach treatments and I have had another lifting treatment on top of that where I have had basically no deep conditioner and <laughs> I've had heat applied to my hair twice now. So what did we learn from this experience? Um, no, but seriously, my biggest advice coming out of this, show your hairstylist exactly what you want. Seriously, I would have had exactly what I wanted if I had shown her in the very beginning a picture of what I wanted my hair to look like. She confirmed she would have done it, but as soon as she put the toner in the first time, it made my hair too dark, and then the lightener wouldn't work, and then the bleach wouldn't work, and this is where we are. Is it bad? Um, you know, it's natural. I haven't had naturally looking blonde hair in a while. Look, I've put off filming because of this. And I've spent six and a half hours at a hair salon in the last two days. 
All because I wanted to bleach my own hair. Do yourself a favor. Get a friend to help you. Have a professional do it or wait. Wait until you can do one of the other two. But honestly, it's not bad. It just looks natural and it'll be fine for my graduation. There's not much I can say. But yeah, with that, this is the end of the video. I have to go film another video now. So that being said, uh, thank you guys for watching this absolute mess of a video. I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.